Yo Hollywood, do me a favour, the next time you do one of these uh, evil child horror films, put him, put him down with some Nigerian parents. I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Let's go with the review. <laughs> Hey, it's Stephen Geekface and I'm back here with a review for you for the film called The Prodigy starring Jackson Robert Scott and Taylor Shillin who plays a mother who's concerned about her gifted child who starts to show violent, disturbing behaviour way above his age. So this is a film I was kind of looking forward to but still being a bit sceptical as it's one of those horror films that come out earlier in the year and it's not always great except for films like The Get Out which was an exception to the rule. So I was a bit sceptical but the trailer did have me intrigued of where this film was going. Speaking of the trailer, if you want to go in completely cold turkey with this film, I do recommend that you avoid the trailer at all costs and go in completely cold turkey. Um, it's going to help with your surprises of the film. So, what did I think of the film? Let me start with the good. Firstly, the main character, which is uh, Jackson Robert Scott, is phenomenal in this film from start to finish. Wow. He is a young actor that just delivered all his lines, just, 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 I'm lost for words. There were lines where, you know, a young child shouldn't be saying and lived it so well that just had my mouth open up throughout the whole time. There's one particular scene where he has with a psychiatrist and the dialogue and the scene, the tension in the room just had me just like, what? Did that really just happen? Like, well, okay. But yeah, definitely, Check him out. Um, if you guys know he was in the film It as little Georgie that gets killed in like the first five minutes. Sorry, spoiled it for you for guys who haven't seen that. But he's definitely the star of the show. And the film obviously relies on him a lot because obviously he's the main character and if he doesn't do well, then the film falls apart and it doesn't convince the whole evil child you know this film was trying to portray. There was a lot of creepy moments in this film um, if I'm honest a lot of really good tension atmosphere that did have me a little bit on the edge of the seat. It wasn't too scary so if you're a bit worried about you know I'm not a horror fan I get easily scared I think you'd be okay with this film. There's some genuine atmosphere so it was directed well. Um, with the film there are some problems. The supporting actors are okay uh, Taylor Shannon is okay annoys me a little bit um, as she annoys me in Orange New Black but she plays her role well. I'm sort of a supporting actors, the same characters you see in all these other films, you know, the cliche, I'm gonna have the one parent who doesn't believe what's going on. You're gonna have the, you know, just, just the cliche people you see in all these films. So if you've seen them, if you've watched horror films before, you know what I'm talking about. You got those same characters. So, but they, they, did their, they did their service, what they had to do. The ending was weak, very weak ending. Made me roll my eyes like, oh, this is where we're going. But I just thought they were gonna do something just unique because the way the story was going it was interesting i hadn't seen anything like this we've seen the whole evil genius e evil child done before and obviously different reason why it is and they had a very unique story of why this particular kid was so evil so i thought they're going to do a very interesting ending a little bit epic but it kind of falls falls apart towards the end so i was a bit disappointed i kind of i don't usually recommend this to people but maybe go a bit late maybe 15 minutes into the film. I feel like the first 50 minutes shows what this film's about and it kind of spoils the surprises because you kind of, you know, if you know your films, you know where this is going with the plot and what the surprise and the twist is from the first 50 minutes. So that was kind of annoying um, that they did that. So probably recommend you can't go late <laughs> to watch this film. Overall, I did enjoy the film. As I said, good tension with the atmosphere and the horror. Great performances from the main character. Like I said, it was just, well, had me like gobs gobsmacked throughout the whole film. So if you're a horror fan, um, and you, or even when you're not a horror fan, I still recommend you to go and see it. I give it a seven out of 10. Um, great film. I'm looking forward to if they're looking to do more sequels or do a franchise out of this and see where it's going. Cause I'm a bit intrigued with this particular character. So definitely go and check it out. So, are you going to watch this film? Have you seen it already? Let me know in the comments below. What's your favourite horror film? And uh, what's your favourite evil child in a horror film you've seen before, like The Omen? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to like, share, and remember to stay blessed, stay geeked. Bye-bye.